Hey guys, just shooting a video this morning about an issue that's come up uh, in the JVlogging community over the last couple of days. An issue that I think is really important, so I just wanted to sort of throw in my two cents. Um, as some of you may have seen, uh, I think in the last few days, a vlogger by the name of um, Madama Sensei uh, made a video about uh, being gay in Japan where he uh, interviewed one of his Japanese friends about what it's like to be gay in Japan and then it's got a lot of um, attention over the last couple of days because Victor had been giving me a flake man uh, picked it up and promoted it and um, I might make this a, a response tag this in as a response to Madama Sensei's uh, video afterwards but I just wanted to talk about a couple of uh, talk about my own views and my own experiences with this issue um, in Japan. Um, well, first of all, I'm I'm not gay, I'm, I'm straight, but um, it's still an issue I think is, is very uh, important um, and very strongly gay rights and uh, it's something I've thought about a, a fair bit since I've been in, in Japan and before I came to Japan actually. Um, but first of all, I'd like to talk about um, the experience of, of one of my friends, who I won't name, um, but a friend of mine who did what I'm doing, uh, a year exchange in Japan, but over in Kitakyushu, uh, and they did it a few years ago. Now this friend of mine is, is gay, um, in a long-term relationship with his boyfriend, but when he came out to Japan, he really didn't feel like, didn't feel comfortable um, sharing his sexuality. Uh, and in fact, I think over the entire year he was here, he only ever told one person, uh, which was his female best friend, female best Japanese friend, um, one Japanese person at least, he may have told um, other, uh, other exchange students or foreigners that he was out here with, I'm not entirely sure, um, but he certainly, he told me that he only told one Japanese friend, and even even her, his, his best friend, um, found it at least uh, they, they, they remain friends and uh, they, they still say good friends but I think at first the impression I got was um, certainly she was a bit taken aback and didn't quite know how to react uh, which is almost um, that's almost just a good reaction I suppose for Japan considering um, how little uh, homosexuality is talked about and um, almost just that just doesn't exist here um, like like was mentioned in in uh, Madame Sensei's video, it's it's just if you ask a lot of Japanese people, they they genuinely don't seem to think that that homosexuality exists, which some people might think is better than it being uh, a negative, like it is in some countries. But in some ways, I think it could almost be worse because um, you know it, it can really make um, gay people feel that they have no. That there is no chance to come out and um, be people who just won't really won't understand um, and this was sort of really brought home to me uh, a few uh, probably about six months ago now when I was um, I was drinking in a bar that I usually go to it's uh, popular amongst the foreigners um, and I was just there having a quiet drink in the evening and a Japanese a Japanese guy came up to me young guy probably about about my age and um, as a lot of Japanese people often do in that bar, they, they started chatting to me because uh, I was a foreigner and so he got the standard questions, you know, where, where are you from, why are you in Japan? Um, but then out of nowhere, suddenly um, he asked me, you know, are there gay people in the UK? Which sort of took me aback. It was the first time this sort of subject had ever been raised with me while I was out in Japan. And so, of course, my natural reaction was just to say, yes, of course, you know, there, there are gay people in the UK, just like there are, there are gay people anywhere in the world, you know, Japan, America, wherever. At which point, you know, um, he sort of recalled me, he was like, no, 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 you know, well, we don't, we don't really have um, gay people here in Japan. But at the same time, he was intrigued by my answer and continued to ask me about, uh, you know, about being gay in England. And, you know, I had to say to him, I'm sorry, I, I really don't uh, you know. Um, I, I can't give you that much of an insight. I'm, I'm straight, but um, uh, you know, yeah, of course we, we have we have, you know, <laughs> I was like it, it, to me it just seemed like such a ridiculous question. But you know, and and 
even though he can continue to uh, uh, question me on the subject with, with each, each time he did he had to he had to preface each question with the assurance that he himself was um was not gay and i you know i was just thinking well, it, it, it doesn't matter either way you know it, it's not it's not an issue and you know and he, yeah he was there with a, a friend and he's like oh this is this is my boy friend you know this person you know i'm, I'm completely straight you know you just emphasize that but but my friend here is bi so you know i'm, I'm curious and you know his, his friend was there and he, he was quite open about it which i found quite interesting uh, he was there with admittedly he was there with quite an, uh, an attractive woman so i don't know maybe he felt more confident in admitting his sexual preferences when he had a, a lovely lady on his arm Perhaps I'm not sure, but you know, this other guy, um, uh, you know, just kept in insisting upon his his straightness whilst at the same time questioning me. And you know, <laughs> I, I I may not be gay, but I can still tell when I'm being flirted with, whether it's uh, a guy or a girl. And he was you know pretty pretty heavily flirting with me, and by the end of the night was getting um, uh, a little bit touchy feely. Um, but you know, it was sort of the first time that it really hit home with me just how unable Japanese people feel uh, to talk about their their sexual orientation and, and how homosexuality really it just so many Japanese people don't seem to believe that it exists and um, I think it's something that, that really has to change and uh, you know the the, the guy in um, Madama Sensei's video you know he said he'd, he'd given up hope on Japan and perhaps you know maybe in 50 years but I honestly think I think it will change faster than that um i do think it, it there is hope for japan and a lot of the the japanese people like i've spoken to of my own age about the issue whilst um perhaps not particularly informed about the issue some of them did genuinely still didn't believe that there was um gay people in japan but are certainly much more open to the idea and have no have no issue with the idea whilst they may not think about it in particular uh depth or profound with great profundity um you know they're, they're certainly not against the idea and have no issue with the idea of homosexuality and i think yeah i think it will change over time and um to move slightly away from the the central focus uh you know and talk about what i do know which is films um th this is the idea of homosexuality is something that I actually wrote about. Uh, the issue of Japanese homosexuality is something I, I wrote about uh, for an essay of mine in um, uh, my second year of university about uh, Japanese with regards to Japanese cinema. And there is actually quite a, a good um, catalog of Japanese films that issue, deal with the issue of homosexuality. And one that I wrote about in particular was. Uh, Ryo, Ryosuke? I think it's Ryosuke Hashiguchi. Hashiguchi Ryosuke. Uh, I'll, I'll link him down below. I'll find out who it, uh, the I'll double check his name. Um, who made a couple of low-budget uh, films about uh, homosexuality, probably based on his own uh, homosexual experiences as a high school kid. Um, and then made in... I want to say about 2000, but I can't remember exactly when it was, made an excellent, excellent film called Hush. Um, I don't know if any of you out there will have seen it. If you haven't, I highly recommend it. Uh, excellent film about um, uh, the issue of being homosexual in Japan. focuses around a, a gay couple um, and their two differing ways of dealing with the fact that homosexuality is not widely uh, spoken about in Japan or widely accepted yet uh, and the way that their families and uh, the people that they come into contact in their daily lives deal with that idea. Uh, I, very, I, I really recommend that film. It it's, deals with a lot of important issues but it's still at times quite lighthearted and fun, um, very easy to watch and uh, very very important film, I think. Um, so please go out and watch that if you haven't. But yeah, so I, I think that it's certainly it's an issue that, that needs to be addressed further in, in Japan. It needs to be, the cause needs to be furthered. And um, certainly there is a long way to go. But I do at the same time think that the, it will not be too long before uh, homosexuality becomes something that's more socially accepted in Japan. 
um, as it is becoming becoming in the West. But of course, there's still a long way to go uh, in the UK, in America, in other Western countries as well. Um, yeah, so that's my two cents. Uh, it's gone on for quite a while now. We're over the 10-minute mark, so I'll wrap it up. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you later.